Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, October 23rd. Thank you for joining. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, we praise your name and we give all the glory to you. And once again, Father God, we have the opportunity to spend time in your word, to spend time in prayer. We pray, Father God, that we continually come to you with open hearts and open minds and open ears for the message that you have for each and every one of us so that we can share that message with others. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. We are in Galatians 3, 10 through 18. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. As it is written, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Clearly, no one relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith. The law is not based on faith. On the contrary, it says, the person who does these things will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, let me take an example from everyday life. Just as no one can set aside or add to a human covenant that has been duly established, so it is in this case. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. Scripture does not say, and to seeds, meaning many people, but, and to your seed, meaning one person, who is Christ. What I mean is this. The law, introduced 430 years later, does not set aside the covenant previously established by God, and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on the promise. But God in his grace gave it to Abraham through a promise. In 14 it says, He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. It's not in keeping the law, but by God's grace that we are saved by the blood of Jesus. And it is our faith that pleases God, not our works. And not by any of our works, not by any of our obedience, but only by Jesus Christ we have salvation. And our works are secondary to faith in thankfulness for our salvation. Jesus had complete obedience to his Father, but our sin keeps us from obedience. Sin controls us sometimes, but by God's grace and our repentance, we are forgiven. And our only hope for salvation is Jesus through faith. We also find here that Abraham trusted in what God promised. We trust in what we have seen already and what our future will be as his sons and daughters. We trust in his promises, we have witnessed his faithfulness, and we know his love. God had and has a plan for each and every one of us. So let's go to God in prayer continually. Ask him that we be obedient to his will, that be, we be included in his plan. Go to God in thankfulness for all that he has done for us and all that he is doing for us and for the faith of what he will continue to do for each and every one of us. God is faithful. He loves us. Even with all of our sin, God continues to love us. He continues to want to have a relationship with us. He continues to bless, it, bless us, and we are the blessing. Let's pray. Father God, we pray that each and every one of us recognizes who you are in our lives, what you have brought us through, what will you, what you will bring us through, what will you lead us to, the opportunities that you will lay before us. We pray, Father God, to be obedient to your will, to be included in your plan. We pray, Father God, to seek you continually in our good times and our bad, because it is in those times, Father God, that we learn more about who you are, that we depend on you more, Father God, for only you, Father God, has provided salvation to us through your, the blood of your son, Jesus. We love you, Father God, and we pray all of this 
In the precious name of Jesus, our Savior, amen. God bless you, everyone. Have a week filled with blessings. Look for those opportunities. Take advantage of those opportunities. Pray to be obedient to God's will. Pray to be included in his plan. God bless you, everyone.